And in a year where everything has been turned absolutely upside down, we've been working to come up with new ways to stay connected with each other. Nothing's better than seeing people in person, even if they can't make it to the studio. So this season, I've been catching up with some of our favorite and some of your favorite stars, um, car to car with our drive interviews. Drive interviews. <laughs> You just must have so much fun. I bet there's wine involved. These jingles are so amazing. Oh my God. So most recent, and get it, drive interview. We're so clever. Um, most recently, I saw Sarah Michelle Geller, and it was so much fun. Check it out. Actually, do I mean I'm? If, you, if my family asks, I'm shopping for school supplies. But what are you doing? If my daughter knew I was here, forget it. Although clearly I'm from New York because look how I parked at a drive-in. Yeah, but clearly it'd be awesome though because your car's big enough you could pretty much sit in the back. <laughs> Relax. So your car is sweet. So know, what I... was your first car? Oh, my first car was not this sweet. <laughs> I had a uh, green Chrysler LeBaron. Uh, that's pretty sweet. I don't know about that. And I remember everyone said when you first like get a job in Hollywood, don't buy a new car because it's the kiss of death. And on the first season of Buffy, everybody else got new cars. And I was still second season riding in in my green Chrysler LeBaron convertible. So finally, midway through the second season, I was like, I'm done. I'm getting a new car. But it worked out OK. Oh my gosh, I love that. That still sounds like a pretty sweet car. So is it true that y'all, I know a lot of people are doing road trips because of COVID. You and Freddie, did y'all bond over a road trip? Is that what I hear? We did, because I had just gotten my driver's license when we did I Know What You Did last summer. And we filmed in a really tiny town. Oh my gosh, you've been together forever. Forever. I'm 100. You're <laughs> And I had not yet, wasn't used to taking big long drives. And when you're doing a movie about killing someone on the side of a road yeah. and you just get your driver's license, you don't really like doing long road trips. And the only <laughs> gym that I could go to because I wasn't 21 was like an hour away. And so he would drive me into town for the hour drive and then he would like run errands while I went to the gym and then he would pick me up. And so we would talk on the road. Oh my gosh, I love road trips. When was the last time you were to drive in? I went to my first drive in last Friday. Your first one? My first drive in. We had a birthday party, a socially distanced birthday party, and we made a parking lot into a drive in movie theater. It was my first experience. You are the coolest parents ever. I didn't throw the party, I went to the party. Okay, Let's well, clarify. wow. I'm, I'm not that cool. I'm like, that's amazing and such a smart idea. Isn't it a great idea? So wow. we're doing my daughter, we're doing a socially distant backyard. Um, my best corn purchase, I like to ask people what their like ridiculous corn purchase is, and my corn purchase was a backyard movie screen. Oh, mine was a bounce house. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I also bought an inflate a bowl, which is actually like a bowl riding thing that goes in the pool. <laughs> which sounds awesome yeah. for adults as well. So have, have your kids seen Buffy? We just started. I had never thought to show it to them. And they asked during quarantine, they said we were trying to like find shows to binge. And I was like, okay, I didn't even know if they'd be into it, but they are like so into it. Except I'm the world's biggest disappointment for them because they'll always ask questions and I'll be like, I don't remember. I'll have to text someone and ask. And oh. yeah, they think they know it better than I do at this point. Oh my God, I loved it. It made me want to be a ninja. I just wanted to be able to be like, whoa. Yeah. Like you my were son has, butt. My son actually thinks that I'm cool now. I think it's cool. Yeah, there you go. Finally. I'm still not cool to mine. Um, <laughs> so wait, tell me about your work um, for myopia. Um, it's a personal cause, and I heard I heard about it. Yeah, it's been really an interesting time for me because I've never done that much schooling with my kids. And I noticed when we yeah. started on socially distant Zoom school that my son was blinking a ton. And it turned out that it was because as these kids are on these devices and they're like looking constantly, they're becoming more and more myopic, which is basically just nearsightedness. Wow. So I partnered up with Cooper Vision to be able to tell parents about this because I think it's something that we don't know. Yeah, I was nearsighted. Oh, I couldn't see oh, it's, anything. It's so hard. And then they're looking at the screen and they're trying to focus. And it's just, it's so hard for them. And isn't it funny? We're always like, get off the screen. And then the pandemic hits and we're like, like be on, on that screen, screen eight hours a day. Yeah, yeah, and then like, give them homework. I know. It's like the worst. My kids are so not excited about this year. Um, well, it was nice to see you. It was such a pleasure to yes. see you. You have such a rad car. You know what? I, I do too. You're like even cooler now. I don't know. How is that is possible? Pretty, your ride is pretty sweet. You need to like take a picture and then rub it into Freddie. I already okay. did that. We'll see you next time, girl. Bye.